It began on a quiet Friday morning. The world's networks hummed as usual billions of devices exchanging invisible messages across oceans, satellites, and wires. But somewhere, inside a small apartment in Bristol, a 22-year-old security researcher named Marcus Hutchins stared at his monitor, watching a digital storm unfold in real time. He didn't know it yet. But within the next six hours, he would accidentally save the internet. At 9.47 a.m., reports started flooding and hospitals shutting down in London, airports going offline in Spain, power grids flickering in India. Screens everywhere displayed the same message, your files have been encrypted. It was chaos, wrapped in code. The world's first self-replicating ransomware later called WannaCry was tearing through networks faster than any human could react. Governments scrambled. Corporations panicked. Even the NSA, the same agency whose stolen tools had been used to create the virus, was silent. Marcus wasn't a government agent or a genius billionaire. He was just a curious kid who liked taking things apart. That morning, he decided to analyze one infected sample of the virus, tracing its strange behavior line by line. And there buried deep inside the code he saw something odd. A string of gibberish that looked like a web address. A kill switch. He didn't know what it did. He only knew that the domain didn't exist. So, almost absent-mindedly, he registered it a $10 purchase on a sleepy afternoon. What happened next felt impossible. Within minutes, infection rates around the globe dropped to zero. The virus, the one crippling hospitals, airports, and entire governments just stopped. Silence replaced the digital storm. News outlets scrambled to find answers. Who had done it? Was it luck? Sabotage? A trap? Meanwhile, Marcus sat in his tiny apartment, sipping cold coffee, realizing he just flipped the off switch for one of the most dangerous cyber weapons ever unleashed. But heroes aren't born clean. As the headlines hailed him, the accidental savior of the internet, investigators began digging into his past. Old chat logs, forum aliases, hints of a younger Marcus who had once written malware, not stopped it. Days later, at an airport in Las Vegas, FBI agents surrounded him. He was arrested not for what he did that day, but for what he'd done years before. The same hands that saved the internet had once helped poison it. The story rippled through the digital underground, a modern paradox in motion. The boy who built viruses to learn how they worked. The man who stopped one to save millions. Now caught between justice and redemption. Even now, no one can agree who Marcus Hutchins really is. A hero? A hacker? Or a cautionary tale of genius gone sideways? But one truth remains. In a world built on fragile code, Sometimes it takes a virus to remind us how easily everything can fall apart, and how once in a while it takes one flawed human to save it.